नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द नाइन्थ एपिसोड ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज डी के दिस एपिसोड इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दो आर अवेयर अबाउट बायो प्रोडक्ट और से बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड बायो पेस्टिसाइड एंड यूज दम एंड ऑल्सो टू दो हैव नेवर यूज दम ऑल विल बी बेनिफिटेड बट स्पेशल रिक्वेस्ट टू दो हैव यूज बायो प्रोडक्ट बट डिसकंटिन्यूड ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ रिजल्ट must try as per suggestions given in this episode for practical benefits we suggest to watching the video till the end and also the next few episodes on bio products microbes being used as bio products are isolated from soil therefore it is relevant to understand the role of soil as well as atmospheric conditions and accordingly the method as well as time of application need to be decided let us imagine the three layers of soil that is surface of soil 10 cm below the surface and at 25 cm below the surface now have a look at this graph depicting the effect of temperature on soil temperatures this red line indicates the air temperature brown green and black lines are for effect of air temperature on soil surface at 1 cm at 10 cm and 25 cm depths respectively at 25 cm that is the black line is almost straight meaning there is no effect of air temperature on the soil temperature but why it is so let us try to understand this through a practical example you must have experienced that water coming from a tube well during winter feels slightly warm while the same during summers feel cold is that right but interestingly the water is neither warm nor cold it remains the same what we feel is the difference in temperature between our body or soil and the atmospheric temperature only in other words at 25 cm or further below the soil surface atmospheric temperature has the least effect on soil temperature now see the green line at 10 cm there is some variation however soil temperature is below air temperature while at the top 1 cm the soil temperature is much higher than the air temperature and this is the reason no bio product should ever be applied on the soil surface and left unattended because higher temperatures may kill the microbes in the very beginning as far as possible the products must be mixed well in the soil plus the product itself be protected from direct sun and heat and as far as possible operations should be performed in the shed now the various methods for applying bio products are seed treatment seedling root dipping soil treatment drip irrigation etc it is important to mention here that not all the bio products can be applied through all the methods actually it depends upon the type of bio products and the crop or the crops to be treated here our purpose is to discuss the steps or the practices to follow against each method whenever suggested let us try to understand these methods in detail the first is seed treatment whenever recommended use 3 to 5 ml of liquid or 5 to 10 g of powder formulation mixed with 50 ml of water per kg of seed mix required quantity of bio products in water the solution or suspension thus formed should be sprinkled uniformly on the seeds and mixed thoroughly after mixing seeds should be dried in shed for half an hour and then sown in the field now the next is seedling dipping use 3 to 5 ml of liquid or 5 to 10 g of powder formulation per liter of water about 50 liters of water will be sufficient for seedlings to be planted in one acre land add bio products in water and mix well dip the seedling roots for 30 minutes then transplant in the field soil application recommended doses of bio products that is bio fertilizers and bio pesticides to be mixed with 80 to 100 kg of well decomposed manure or compost per acre mix thoroughly and broadcast uniformly at final land preparation or at sowing or before transplanting 
Early application is better. However, may even be applied till 10 to 15 days of sowing or transplanting or latest at first irrigation. In case manure or compost is not available, soil from the same field to be used, fresh cow dung or undecomposed organic matter should never be used as it may be harmful to the crop as well as soil. Trip irrigation. Powder formulations need to be mixed separately in 10 to 15 liters of water, then decant using muslin cloth before adding to the irrigation tank. However, liquid formulations can be added directly in the tank, mix well before use. For better results, it is suggested once again to perform most of the operations in shed. And yes, proper storage and handling is important to keep the microbes alive and thriving. Microbes are vulnerable to ultraviolet rays, so they must be stored away from sunlight, heat and wind. For better efficacy, direct mixing of bioproducts with chemical input to be avoided as far as possible. It is cautioned once again that no microbial biofertilizer should ever be applied through foliar method that is spraying over the foliage. It will be a complete wastage and will not add any value to the crop or the soil. But in case of microbial biopesticides, being used against insect pest and foliar diseases, they need to be applied through foliar methods. For foliar application, add some jaggery, around 500 gram per acre in the spray solution. And a spray should be done only in the evening hours. This is because jaggery provides initial food to the microbe, while evening hours avoid direct exposure of microbe to high temperature, plus some extra hours in the night so that microbes could establish and multiply properly. Foliar application in the morning and during daytime adversely affect the efficacy of microbial biopesticides and therefore must be avoided compulsorily. We hope now there is sufficient clarity on application methods of bioproducts. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe the channel. Share with friends and give feedback so that we can include new topics in future.